So nothing extravagant. You know, you don't have to be a millionaire to be happy. You know, you can be right. um, happy just within, you know, just being healthy, you know. Um, but it, again, it, everything boils, everything I speak on, it all boils back to the mindset. And that's the reason why, you know, we we put together this Monday call every Monday because I, I just feel in life, man, people are challenged mentally, man. Like people are really, really yeah. mentally. And I think sometimes people overthink uh, what they should be doing, how they should do it. Um, and I find myself even in the midst of that sometimes, you know, like sometimes yeah. I'm thinking like, man, like what should I be doing? Or how can I get better at this? Or what, you know what I'm saying? And I just kind of run myself crazy overthinking stuff, but really, you know, you have to get back to thinking about the basics and thinking about what works. And yeah. if you get back to that and not try to cre recreate the wheel, to me, consistency is going to outwin everything. You could do yeah. something simple and basic. Might not even cost that much money, but if you do it every day and you stay committed to it, you're going to get results. So it's really not about the new shiny object. It's not about how much money you spend on something. It's really about, you know, you deciding that yeah. I'm going to be consistent and I'm going to outwork everybody um, that does it. You know, shout out to um, Justin, you know, when we had him on the call a couple of Mondays ago, you know, He's doing something that been out for a long time. Driving a dollar, like that's nothing new. But right. the difference between him and everybody else is his. He, in his mind, he feels that he's going to outwork everybody because he's going to get up at seven o'clock in the morning, get right. started at nine, and he's going to finish at seven. So he's going to spend his whole day in the field. You, you right. might ride for an hour and then you're done. You feel like you've done something. So that's the right. difference between you know that's a mindset thing. It's a difference between people who know what it takes to get the job done and know what it's going to take to get the results they're looking for and somebody who just kind of tiddling with it like it's a hobby or something, you know? Right. So we have to get to that place where we're out thinking, um, well, not out thinking, but not out thinking ourselves by trying to do too much, but just doing enough to where um, you're satisfied with the consistent results, you know? And again, that comes with um, discipline. It comes with, uh, again, consistency and just doing the dang thing. You know, sometimes we get stuck at, wanting to do something and saying we're going to just do it it had been it's, it was something that i had been dreading to do for so long so so long and um uh, i'm gonna go ahead and say it i mean i wasn't gonna say it i'm gonna go ahead and say it and i think i told you about it i, I said that um i had ordered a whole lot of signs and i had a, i had a guy that i had out yeah. he, he had been putting on my signs and stuff like that and um you know, I hadn't been able to get in touch with him and, you know, he hadn't been this consistent as put my signs out and stuff like that. So I still had, I think about 200 and some signs sitting in my office and I'm like, man, I'm tired of looking at these signs. These signs sitting in that box, these signs need to be out in the streets making some money. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm like, right. you know, I don't want to get to a place where I'm not humble or I'm not, or well, I'm not appreciative of where I am and being successful the way I am. And sometimes you got to humble yourself and get out there and grind and do some of the grunt work and some of the things that you might not dread doing, but it puts you back in per to perspective of, you know, getting back that hungry mentality, you know, and, you know, I got out over the weekend and I, you know, I put out some, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't mean to stop you, but, but, you know, there's a point where people feel like, they ain't got to do that kind of stuff. And here you are, here you are, they're getting back to the basics. But I start feeling like that, though. But I start feeling like yeah. that. And I check myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you, yeah. ain't, you ain't too good when you can't grind and get out there and get, get sweaty and dirty and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why, like, a lot of times I post stuff like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I might come off as a person that feel like, you know, I can pay for everything or I don't want to do stuff. I'm too above things. I'm, I'm not that person. Like, I, I sometimes got to let myself know, like, you're not that dude like that, dude. Like, you need to yeah. you need to humble yourself and you need to grind. You need to get out here and do some of the sweat equity that, you know, just like I had posted um, a while back, a couple of months ago, you know, when my contractor um, pulled out on me. He was supposed yeah, to you did the fence. <laughs> he was supposed to me a fence because I had a tenant moving in the property and Section 8 had uh, failed me and they were saying that I need to build a fence over that retainer wall and my, my contract right. pulled out on me and I had the inspection was scheduled for the following day and I told the lady it was going to take me a day to get it done because it really was only a couple hour job and I didn't panic I just said you know what let me get out here and do it myself you know I'm just that type of person like if, if somebody you know don't come through for me or if I feel like you know I'm not challenging myself 
I try to push myself and challenge myself, you know, and do stuff right. that I might not feel like doing. No, I didn't feel like getting out in the sun and doing that. No, I didn't. No, I didn't feel like getting out this weekend, putting out no signs. I did not, you know, but I knew I had to humble myself and get to the point where I said, you know what, I'm going to do it anyway, you know, and that's called getting comfortable with being uncomfortable, you know, and I had to embrace that, you know. You can say something, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, man. I, I mean, I, I was, I was, you know, basically just kind of telling you, man, that, you know, that, that, you know, big up to you uh, for doing that, man, because, you know, because it really just puts you in that mindset of, listen, you know, this, this is what I got to do. You know, this is what it takes to be successful. You know, this, this is, this is the, um, this is the foundation, you know, to be successful. I mean, listen, when I, you know, when I think about you, you know, like when I originally thought about you, you remember that very, very first interview that me and you did together. And, uh, you know, we met each other through your oh, sign. Yeah. Exactly. And that's what it takes. You know, like, like a lot of times, you know, people, you know, get their first deal done, you know, and then, you know, they want to, you know, they want to all of a sudden start a new marketing strategy. You know, they want to do something, you know, other than, you know, what got them to the dance, you know, two, three deals and into the, you know, into the thing. And, and, and you, and, you know, you want to look at, you know, what's the latest and greatest, you know, technology, you know, latest and greatest, you know, software, well, all that stuff is good. But, you know, the bottom line is the bottom line and uh, just getting down to the basics. And that's, and that's the key right there. And being consistent. Like you said, I, I like the word that you said. You said, you know, just be consistent. You know, if you can be consistent at the basic stuff, you can do if you can be consistent thing. That at the basic stuff, your whole life. That will change. It'll change your life. You don't it'll get anything out of this call tonight. We're gonna talk about some more stuff. But if you don't get anything out of this call tonight, whatever you do, no matter what you're doing in life, be consistent with what's gonna get you results. It might be uncomfortable. It might be something you don't feel like doing. It might be something that you feel like you got more time to do this and do that. But if whatever consistency wins every time, it never fails. It never loses. It wins every time consistency. I'm telling you, <laughs> find whatever that is you're supposed to be doing and be consistent at it, and, and you outwork everybody. You know, you could be doing a little bit of something every day, and you still consider to me, you consider work outworking everybody because the average person is not going to do something related to their business or whatever it is they're trying to get better at. They're not going to do it every day. They may do it every other day, maybe once a week, maybe once a month. They're not going to do it every day. You know, and then when you get to doing it every day and adding hours to it. Oh, wow. Oh that's, when, that's when it gets special. You know, like, special. like, like that, 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 that's when the results start to show. But, but here's the thing, like, like I noticed, like, like a lot of people talk about, you know, like, like I've been, you know, I've been doing this, you know, I've been doing that, you know, I've been, you know, I've been, I've been work, I've been doing this, I've been doing that, but you know, the result, I mean, it's always going to tell on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like what you're doing is always going to tell on you. I guarantee, I guarantee everybody who's listening who have not, you know, we talk to a lot of people, I'm not knocking anybody or nothing like that, but if you want right. online and you haven't closed your first deal yet, check consistency. Check something that you're not being yeah. consistent with. Yeah, it, it yeah. It boils down to that. You know, it boils down to something you're not being consistent with. You know, I guarantee yeah. you, if you stay consistent, I'll say, like, if you just getting started, and you stay consistent every day going hard for 90 days, I can almost guarantee you're going to get a deal. It might be 30 days. It might be in 30 days. I'm just saying the minimum 90 days go hard every day. You're going hard consistent. Doing the same thing. You're doing. You know, doing the same thing, right? The same thing. Like if you're going to say, I'm going to cold call for 30, for 90 days straight. Right. Or I'm going to drop a dollar for 90 days straight. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get a deal. Like, you going yeah. an opportunity is going to come your way because it's something about, because what happens is consistency, that's related to the Bible. Consistency is sowing seeds. You know, yeah. whatever you put out there is what you're going to reap. If you put right. effort out there, if you put hard work out there, if you put um, focus out there, if you put consistency out there, if you put action out there, it's going to translate yeah. into something. You know what I'm saying? You're going to meet somebody. Somebody's going to call you. Um, it, I mean, it's, I'm telling you, it's just, it works. Talk about, talk about like, like when you, like you had been putting out all those seeds and I love that story, man. You be talking, you know, like, like when you, when you were putting out all those seeds and you were about to give up on the business, I think you almost got a job at Comcast or something. And then yeah. somebody gave you a call, right? What, yeah. Can, tell, tell that story to, to somebody I mean, that may not. I mean, you know, just, I mean, when I first got started, um, you know, I was, again, before, well, actually, before I got started in the real estate, 
I was, I, I had um, applied because I was trying to find myself. This is my first time trying to, you know, um, get into the business or think about getting into the business. And I had considered a job at Comcast. Uh, I went on the interview, did well. They called me and, and pretty much said that, um, you know, you got the job, you know, but I put on my applications the days that I couldn't work. And the days that I put on there was Sunday and Wednesday. I said, I work Saturdays, I work Fridays, but Sunday and Wednesday was my church days. And at that time I was trying to, I was trying to find myself spiritually. And I felt like if I took away from one of those days, it would take away my spirit, it would take away from me spiritually. And I was trying to get closer to God at that point. And I, and I, and I needed every day that I could get Bible studies in church. You know, I could, I didn't want yeah. to substitute those days. I wanted to sacrifice. And, um, you know, I chose, they said, well, you know what, you know, you have to, you, you have to work, you know, we can let you off on the weekends, but you have to work on Wednesdays. That's just a necessity. You have to work. And I just chose not to do the job. Fast forward, you know, I chose, I stepped out on faith, did real estate. And for the first, I want to say eight months, it just wasn't working. Nothing was, nothing was happening. Um, and I was, again, I was getting ready to quit because I was like a lot of you guys. I just felt like it just wasn't working. I just felt like everybody else could do it, but I couldn't do it. And I was being consistent. I was doing stuff, but I was kind of all over the place. Let me just say that. And I wasn't consistent the way I needed to be. I was kind of dipping. I wasn't dabbing. I was dibbling in it, you know. Um, and I was getting ready to quit. I was getting ready to say, you know what, forget this. This real estate thing is not working. I already had people telling me it wasn't working. It was a down market. You in the business for the wrong reasons. You know, we just came out of a recession. Uh, real estate is not it. You know, like all that you know, stuff that we hear from family and friends, like people was just telling me. And I started believing it because I wasn't seeing any results. I started Will, believing it. Well, I want to know who among, among our partners and friends has heard that. Like, like if, if you guys have heard those kinds of things, let us know that y'all have heard that kind of stuff. I, I want to know who's heard that kind of stuff. But go ahead. If you, if you, in, if you in life, you are gonna hear that. And the reason why you are gonna hear that is because the devil is trying to stop you from your purpose, He's trying yeah. to stop you from fulfilling your purpose. So you're gonna hear naysayers. You're gonna hear people. And the, and, the, and the crazy part about it is, it's gonna be people that you love that's gonna tell you, and that's where it hurts because you value. Yeah. You might not care what everybody else said, but you value the people you love, what they say, you know? Yeah, so you that's when it hurts, you know what I'm saying? When somebody you love telling you that's not it, you know what I'm saying? But you have to learn to know that what God they, puts in your heart and your spirit, other people are not going to, they're not going to get it. They're not going to see it, you know, because it's for right. you. Everybody's vision you. is for them, you know what I'm saying? Right. God put on binoculars or glasses you know, I might can see down the road in them, but I might hand them over to Tim and Tim might not see it. Vice versa. Right. But God might put a vision on Tim and he put the glasses on and he see the vision plain as day. But then when he put them back on my eyes, I'm like, dang, Tim, I don't see that. You know, right. but again, it, it, I have to, you know what? I have to say, well, you know what? Tim is a man of God. He's a man who walk in faith. If he say that's what was put on his heart, he say that's what it is. I got to rock with him. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's where it comes where, you know, I had to sit back and let action speak louder than words. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, to make a long story short, because I know we got to bring it on. Uh, so, 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 so what you're saying is like, like is, you know, it, the, the Bible says, you know, that faith without works, you know, is dead. Yeah, so, yeah. so what you're saying is like, okay, you, you, you're going to be believing, 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 but you've got to go ahead and put that action with that believing, correct? You got to, you know, because if you don't put the action with it, it's just going to remain dead. It's just going to, yeah. it's nothing going to happen, you know. Right. So I had to, I had to show action and show that I was about this, about this life. You know what I'm saying? This wasn't right. no play. Like I was, I was willing to put my back against the wall and, and, you know, I don't play poker, but I was all in, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> I was like, you know, it's either this or nothing. You know what I'm saying? It's either this or I got to go to Comcast. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> I wasn't trying to be Mr. Cable Man. You know what I'm saying? So, so I, I just said, and nothing against Comcast. No nothing against it, right? Yeah. You know, but um, I, I can't see that either. I, I, can't, I can't either. But I was just like, man, you know what? This ain't working, man. And yeah. again, I got that one phone call. And that one phone call changed my life, man. That one phone call. That was my first deal. Um, you know, the seller had two properties. You know, they said they held on to my postcard because I was sending postcards out. I was, I was driving for dollars. <laughs> I was putting out bandit signs. I was doing everything, you know, yeah. whatever my budget could fulfill at that time, you know. And um, 
they were just like, we held your card on for a minute, but at first we didn't want to sell, but we were just wondering, are you still in the business we want to sell? You know, I mean, are you still buying properties? And at the time I hadn't done any deals. And I was like, yeah, I'm still in the business. They met me at the property. They said, we got two. You think you can do both of them? And we're like, I was like, yeah. You know, um, the husband, he was, you know, uh, you know, God, God bless him. You know, he was dying of cancer. So they had to liquidate um, the properties so they can, you know, have some money put up, you know, just in case the worst happened to him. And, um, you know, I ended up selling both properties. I ended up selling one of the properties with one of them. I sold, well, I, this one, I didn't know what I was doing. I ended up running to one wholesaler and he ended up wholesaling it to another wholesaler that I know to this day, you know, um, you know, we still cool to this day, but he, you know, it was one of those things where somebody was JVing with me and I didn't even know what JVing was back then, you know, and, I just knew that somebody said they had a buyer and I was like, okay, you got a buyer. okay, let's do the deal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then the other guy I sold the other house to, he was an actual buyer and still to this day is a good friend of mine, millionaire um, buyer. He, he owns like um, so many insurance companies and stuff like that. And he probably owned about 50 plus properties. You know, we still cool to this day. Um, I want to, Go ahead. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, that's that's real stuff, man. Because I want to say, like, like what you're saying, like that's the key right there. Is like when you get the deal, right? Like, 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 like you said, like I didn't even know that I was JVing with somebody, but you were creating opportunity. But you were creating opportunities, and, and the deal the created the opportunity. The, thank you. It's the like when you when you get the deal, when you get the deal, you are creating that opportunity Absolutely. remember this guys when Absolutely. you get the deal you're creating that opportunity i don't care about anything else in this business but you you converting that lead that you got and you turning it into a deal or you and your partners turning it into a deal that opportunity is created right then and there so Absolutely. i like what darius i like what darius said um darius said the same people who told me real estate was a mistake are now asking me um how can they get in the business <laughs> I have people. I have people that do that all the time. They're like, "Man, you so successful in real estate. Like, how did you get started? Can you teach me? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I mean, you know, jump on a Monday yeah. call. You know, ask me whatever yeah. questions you want to. So, um, I had. I'm. I'm gonna tell you something really that was funny to me. And um, one of my one of my middle school teachers sent me a message and wanted to talk to me about the business. I was like, "Wow, that was impressive." Yeah. Like you know, my teacher see see that yeah. I'm you know doing pretty well. And um, he want to, you know, sit down and have some coffee and talk to me about the business. And he want to, you know, That's get into it. So I thought that was pretty cool. That is cool. Like, like, like people from like, you know, when you grew up, you know, and, and they see that, you know, yeah, they see you doing, you know, you're doing what you're doing. Yeah. And they want, you know, they want to understand. I, I love that, man. Absolutely. But, um, Absolutely. I love, to inspire, I love to inspire people, man. I mean, you know, because I've come, I've come a long way in my life, man. I, you know, I was talking to a guy earlier. Um, a guy I met from those signs, you know, somebody mm -hmm. called me and come to find out, <laughs> come to find out me and him knew each other. Now we finna do some business, you know what I'm saying? That's but, your, but that's, that's your, like, that's your calling card. Like, like those signs, like, like there's something anointed when you put those signs out. I, I ain't gonna lie. Like when you put them signs out, man, I just know that money's going to come. So, so, that, and then that's real stuff, but, um, opportunity came today from it, but it, it was, it was a blessing, man. But I, I just know where I come from, man. And what, you know, what, what I've been through in my life, man, and the things that I used to do to, and to, you know, hit that switch, you know, and, um, not doing, you know, real estate, what I love to do and, um, making, you know, a great living doing it. Man. It's a blessing. Yeah. Thank God, all the glory. Um, God gets the glory. But listen, before we get started, man, um, before we get, you know, and I see him on here, but before we um, do that, guys, just want to, you know, just kind of, guys, want to highlight, you know, what it is that we've got going on right now, okay? We've got, and, and you know, we talked about this a little bit in the beginning of the call, and uh, big ups to, you know, Delano, you know, Delano, you know, just closed the deal, um, doing, a, you know, doing our Dialing for Dollars program, uh, which, you know, did it, I think it was Thursday or Friday when he closed that deal. And what we're looking for, guys, is we're looking for 10 people. 10 people, 10 people that we can close with uh, between now and the end of the year. 
uh, 10 people that we can close with between now and the end of the year. And we believe that it can happen. So, you know, if, if you want to be one of those 10 people, you know, send us an email off to reiwholesalersrus at gmail.com. Um, if you want to become a part of our driving, our dialing for dollars program, and I almost said driving for dollars program because that program is almost here. But if you want to become a part of our dialing for dollars program, guys, then send us an email to REI wholesalers are us at gmail.com and we have a great we have a nice conversation you know our dialing for dollars program is off the chain you know Absolutely. i don't mind saying it i wish that you know i wish that when i got back into this business i wish i had you know support i wish i had leads you know that was just an automatic thing you know i wish all i had to do was just make calls and uh, so that's what our dialing for dollars are and i and, and like, like I said, you know, the most important thing is actually going out there and getting the lead, getting the lead and converting it into a deal. That, that, that is the most important thing. I don't care what anybody tells you. I don't care what any other program out there. The most important thing and the most important person in this thing is the person that gets the lead. So, so guys, if you want to be a part of this program, uh, you know, we, you know, we're going to, you know, we, 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 you know, we, 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 we'll set it off. I mean, we, we've got everything set up for you. Um, all you have to do is pick up the phone and call. So send us an email to reiwholesalersrus at gmail.com. So guys, you know, well, since we got that out of the way, man, because you know, we're going <laughs> we to cut up these next couple minutes. <laughs> yeah, I know, so. right? We got to bring them on, man, because I know the time getting by. But real quick, shout out to yeah. um, Charlotte. She said, I heard that from earlier. Mrs. Doso, she said, yes, I heard it. Um, I see Grind Guy, he just came in on Facebook, man. Shout out to my dog. What's, What's up, up, big guy? Up. What's going on? I'll tell you, you got to chop it up with you. You already know what it is. Um, Ryan, he in here. Renal, uh, Ronaldino, uh, he said, What's, What's up, up, fam? Uh, it's a lot of people What's on fam? Facebook saying, What's up? You know, they um, chiming in. So, um, you know. Well, listen. Got, um, it on. Well, listen, guys, here's the deal. Um, you know, oh, Lord, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. If I if I take you off, bro, I apologize. Come back on, okay? I, I apologize, okay? I, I didn't mean to do this, Daniel. But if I take you off and come back on, I, I, I didn't mean to do it, okay? So, because I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> so, <I don't> <laughs> so, Daniel, so, Daniel, rejoin the webinar, okay? Please, rejoin it, rejoin it. All right. All right, All right so... Anyway, um, you know, before, you know, the gentleman that we bring it on, guys, I mean, you know, listen, you know, he, he, he's one of, you know, he's one of, you know, my best friends in the world, now one of your best friends in the world. And, um, and you know, but, but, you know, we have done business consistently since, you know, I, I think it's 2000. I mean, he was one of the first people that uh, sold me a house, you know, back in 2000. Um, I think I was one of the first, you know, I, I one of the first people I did a deal with that I remember. And, um, and I'm just so grateful um, to have his friendship. Um, you know, I'm so grateful, you know, to be able to, you know, to call him, you know, one of my best friends in the world. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for that. And, uh, and just to, you know, and just to be able to, you know, to, to learn from him, you know, from what he does on a daily basis. Um, he makes this business look so easy. That's, mm -hmm. and, and that's the thing I want y'all to get is, he makes this business look so, so, so easy and does it from a high, high, high level. Doesn't know he does it from a high level, but does it from a high level. And, uh, you know, this, you know, this is none other than, um, than our good friend, you know, our partner, our confidant, <laughs> O.T., Otis Richardson, O.T. to O.G. What's up, big dog? What's going on? OG. What's going on, big dog? Can you see me, man? Can you hear me? We can't help but to see you with them reading glasses on, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I need these right here to read all them zeros on Big Wheels check. <laughs> oh, no, go ahead on, man. Go ahead on, man. <laughs> you, know, you, know, it's, it's, you know, it's just it's just a funny thing, man. You know, when we talk about, you know, all them zeros in a check, man, I mean, we're actually talking about you, man, because, you know, like, like I mean, it's just – like for, for what you do and how you do it is just an amazing thing. And, and to me, to me, it's a, 
it's a you know it's it's a lesson in hustling it's a lesson in in just and just you know consistency and just doing you know doing the right thing all the time you do the same thing every day and we were talking about consistency we didn't even realize we'd be talking about ot but that's who we're talking about right there is the definition of consistency so so bro man we certainly appreciate you joining us um you know our partners you know listen everybody's excited um that, that you're joining us and uh man just just kind of tell us you know what's going on you know how you do business and um you know all that stuff well yeah man uh, well first of all you know god be the glory uh and uh, i do appreciate uh my uh, me bros uh for bringing me on tonight uh forgive me if i can't see because I, I did take my reading glasses off but uh <laughs> hopefully I'm, I'm looking at the camera uh but just the same uh yeah uh, this business right here, uh, in my opinion, uh, I, I think I heard Will say uh, something about uh, it's not hard, but it's not hard, but it's not easy, but it's not easy, but it's not hard. Um, <laughs> what I like about the business is that, you know, uh, you know, like you say, talking about consistency, is that, you know, uh, 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 my my brother-in-law, uh, who's now deceased, he, he gave a he gave me a, a saying a long time ago, which was, "If you lay off, your payoff gonna be way off," you know. And <laughs> I really like that, and it, and it really had to settle in with me because anytime you're, you know, uh, working for anything in life, any type of goal or anything that you're trying to achieve, uh, even when you waking up to even go to work. The next day, you know, if you lay off, your payoff is going to be well. You're going to be short on hours at, on your job. And when you're short on hours on your job, what happens to your check? Your check is short, you know. Right. Uh, but, you know, being an entrepreneur and being in the real estate world, uh, you, you have to have the mindset of staying consistent and staying focused, you know, focus, focus, no hocus pocus. You always got to be able to kind of, you know, retrain yourself, uh, re-energize yourself, uh, you know, uh, things that you, you, you know, when you look at your family, you know that, hey, they got to eat, you know, and not only that, but if you want them to eat well, you know, uh, you're going to do the, do the things that it, it's going to take in order to get them to the next level, you know, in your, in your life. You know, uh, there's no reason, um, and, and unless it's something you know, no, no disrespect for anybody, but unless there's something wrong with uh, what I call your elevator going up, you know, then basically there's no reason why a person shouldn't be able. Uh, everybody don't want it. That's that's one thing I did learn in life is that everybody don't want success. Some people are just, you know, content with what they have. However, when when it comes down to you know, just uh, striving and reaching out for a higher goal. Uh, that's that's the purpose of this this meeting and this meetup, and uh, the purpose of getting with guys such as yourself uh, in order to learn, so so that you can be able to strive and achieve more. I think I think I think um, people want success because people follow people. People look at social media and they look, and that stuff look good to them. I think the issue is that people don't want to put the work in to get the success. They want to, they want to look and see what everybody's doing and they want to be fascinated by that, but they're not willing to be consistent and do the things we've been talking about this whole call um, to get to be where you doing those same things and you better off than what you're looking at all day online. So I think people kind of get caught up in, you know, what they see and a lot of what you see ain't even real. You know, that's, that's the crazy part about it. It's not all real. You know, you can be anything on social media. You could be any, you can make yourself look like you're bigger than what you are, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of that stuff you're chasing is false, you know. Um, and I think people need to, you know, be willing to put in the work and, and know that it's not going to come overnight. Um, but again, this, keep going, big dog. I think one of the, one of the things I wanted to ask you, man, real quick, um, like Tim said earlier, man, you just keep things so simple, man. And that's one thing I like about you. Um, I know you always mess with me and say, man, you got, you know, VAs and you got, 
you know, CRMs and you got all these systems and you got, you know, people you hiring and you got the office and you got this and you got that, man. But you ain't got none of that. And, you know, you doing well, you know, like, you know, I ain't putting your finances out there, but you're doing well, you know what I'm saying? Like, so talk to me, talk to, talk to that person that, you know, they kind of conservative like you are. I'll I, I say you're conservative, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, but you keep it simple, but it works for you. You know, it really, really works. Um, what does that look like? Like, what is, like, what is a simple um, OT routine looks like um, from, you know, from a marketing standpoint, I mean, since you do real estate, let's, let's just, you know, bring it into real estate. Like, what does that look like for you? Um, because again, like Tim said, you, you get major results and it's, it's nothing fancy. It's nothing, you know, spectacular. It just works for you, you know? Um, and I think it's amazing. I love the story because it just tells people like, you don't have to do all that stuff you see in here. Like if you just do what OT do, the main thing you do is you you consistent with what you do. Right. Point blank. Like we've been talking about the whole call. Like Tim said, you are pretty much what we've been talking about the whole time. So can you touch on that a little bit about, you know, your um like your routine and you know what you yeah. do and um kind of touching the most, most definitely. Most definitely, brother Will. Um, you know, um for me, you know, uh, you know, you guys tease me about uh, OT the OG, and I, I I do believe in keeping things simple um, because it's not really that complicated. Um, you know, um, when it comes down to, like I say, it's, it's like, you know, I, I remember a good friend of mine uh, and I were on a cruise ship together, uh, and that good friend of mine had went to the gym. And he got on the treadmill while we was on the cruise. And I, I went up and I looked and I said, man, what you doing, man? Working out and everything, man. You know, we on vacation, you know. And he's like, yeah, no, nah, man, I, I got to get this in. And he and he just studied running, studied running, studied running. Well, uh, you know, being from the old school, you know, I'm used to writing stuff down uh, with a little scribble pad or whatever. Uh, I, I'm not really good. Like even right now, I mean, I, I was trying to get my laptop up on the Zoom. I'm sitting here holding my phone in my hand because I, I couldn't figure out how to get on the laptop with the Zoom. So I, I, you know, I had the link on my phone, so it was just easier for me to do it this way. And I apologize, the phone is kind of shaky a little bit, but uh, but just the same, uh, the the everyday routine uh, of what I do is I wake up every day, you know, with, with a goal in mind. The, the first thing, you know, knowing that I'm in this business, you know, um, you know, I own the barbershop. When, when I had my barbershop, I wake up with uh, either appointments or either I wake up with people that I knew were going to be at my, at my barbershop. So I get up and I, you know, I get dressed and I head straight there, you know, to go ahead on and start taking care of my customers right away. And that went on for, you know, 8, 10, 12 hours a day. Uh, same thing with me being in real estate. You know, I get up. Uh, the first thing I do is I check the MLS. Uh, I, I like to use a source called realtor.com. I pull those listings up. I see, you know, I start out in my own backyard. Uh, I'm, I'm out here in Clayton County, so that's what I start out at. Uh, I start out with 30238, 30236, 30274, 30296, which is Riverdale. And uh, I will work my way all the way toward the city and looking at listings and stuff before I even leave my house to see if anything new has, has hit the market. Then, um, you know, on my way to go look at a listing, I may decide to, you know, because it's, it's, it happens in every neighborhood. You know, if you go to look at one property while you're there, it's other properties there too to look at. You know, so even when you're dealing with uh, other properties that someone may send you, you know, you you when you go out to go look at one property, don't make it a point to just look at that property. Look at the other properties also around you, and you may just come across a nugget. Uh, when it comes down to making it look easy. Um, while I'm in the neighborhood, I make contacts with people who are already there doing the work, you know, so 
with those people in mind, uh, I'm, I'm checking to see if they want another property because uh, once they tell me what they're looking for, and same thing with my buyers, mm-hmm. once they tell me what they're looking for, then it's easier for me to go and find that thing. I like to be like the McDonald's. I want to give you a Big Mac today, a quarter pounder tomorrow, a fish sandwich the next day, Mac rib the next day, and keep it going like that. So that's that's what's been the key to my success, uh, just being able to kind of critique it to a point that I kind of put a target on what I'm looking for. But if if a person is starting out new, and don't really have a good idea what to look for. The first thing I tell anybody, and uh, I mean, from my family members to friends to anybody I'm talking to that asked me about the business, I said, the first thing you need to do is really become familiar with your market. If you know what the market is, if you know what the market looks like, you can. it's easy to identify a deal. Uh, getting in contact with the seller may be a little bit more harder, but once you do get in contact with the seller, build a great rapport with that seller, and that way you'll be able to, to keep the seller on there until you at least land that deal. That was a good point you made. So basically what you're saying is if you're new, what I got out of that, what your, what your conversation was, when you're new, first thing you need to do is um, start in your backyard because it's easier, yeah. close to home. You're familiar with those streets. You're familiar with that neighborhood. So familiarize yourself, get out in the streets, um, find out what's going on, you know, go look at houses. While you're looking at houses, like you said, nine times out of 10, there's gonna be other houses. There's gonna be dumpsters. There's gonna be people doing renovations, you know? And I know you always talk about how you might be at one property, then you see some people doing some work, then you get out there and start talking to them. Next thing you know, that might be a buyer. Next thing you know, they got another property they wanna sell. Then you go down the street and see a for sale by owner sign. Then you go call that person. Then you go right down the street and see another sign and see how much this listing is. Because if you're looking at this other property, you want to see how much that property is compared to the one you're getting. So next thing you know, you in the neighborhood for a couple of hours and you're getting a lot done and you're not even going far. You're just kind of um, mapping out your whole farm area and familiarizing yourself with what's going on in the community, which makes so much sense. That's right. I, I like the word that you use, farming, because that's that's basically what it is. That's what I learned a long time ago. The term, the terminology of farming, is uh, basically you know you you you're planting seeds in the area uh, yeah. uh, yourself, and then you're cultivating that land, and you're waiting on a you know waiting on something to to, to pop up, you know, because you you plant seeds in every area because you get familiar with that market. And uh, what I like, you know, is, is the fact that, you know, a lot of times, um, like I say, once a person becomes familiar with the market and they know exactly, you know, like I, you know, uh, I don't want to put anybody on blast, but I, I just recently talked to somebody, even last night, they may be on this call, and uh, they were telling me about a deal um, that was out near the Cunyas area. And uh, and I said, well, what was worth? And they told me what it was worth. And I said, I don't believe it. You know, I'm looking at the property, and that's just no way that that's worth that. You know what I mean? So, you know, uh, I think that a lot of times when you do become familiar with values and neighborhoods and trends and and uh, what all is going on, then it just makes it a little bit more simpler. But you got to learn what to look for. You know what I mean? That that's that's part of it too. Now, when it comes down to people that just happen upon something, hey, that comes because you are out in the market. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, there's there's a possibility that you may just happen upon a good deal. You know, but when you happen upon a good deal, then it's all about you, your attitude, and the rapport that you may build with that seller. You know, because sometimes people want more than what their property is worth, but because you got a good relationship with them or a good conversation with them then you know they they get to like you and then not saying you're talking them out of the deal or talking them out of their house or anything but you start you know giving them some more reasonable things to think about when it comes down to their property and what their property may or may not need you know and then whether or not you can expedite the process for them some people don't even care if you're wholesaling it you know, um, matter of fact, I got some people that'll call me and ask me to wholesale their house, you know, so 
you know, I, I kind of like that because that's that's just a simple way. They they know what you do, and they know that hey, you can get the J O B D O N E, and then so they they'll contact you. You know, I, I, I like I like I like how you you know how you talk about you know like 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 staying in your own staying in your own area and then just kind of farming outwards because like if you're brand new and then you you just kind of doing this business if you're in your area then you don't necessarily have to think about things like gas you know what i'm saying like 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 some people some people can't you know aren't, aren't necessarily able to get out get out get out but if you're in your area then you are going to be you are going to find deals no matter what and 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 that's that's the thing that i like about what you know what, what you said about that how how do, do you get new people come to you a lot of times and they want to go farming and fishing in other areas that they aren't familiar with does that happen a lot ot yeah i mean uh when, when you say new people that come to me i guess people that you're saying that that may even want to learn the business or yeah, so yeah. uh yeah of course that happens you know people just kind of all over the place yeah. and i'm like listen you know you need to slow that down uh, you need to really kind of pinpoint where you're going and then use the tools that are available to you because by using these tools such as like I say realtor.com or Zillow or whatever, you know, that, that can pull up uh, some comps. I think uh, what's Please. the other one at the prop stream, mm -hmm. all these different things that you can use to kind of pull values up and that way you kind of know what it is that you're looking at. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and I, I just want to highlight that the tool, the tools that you said, you said Zillow, uh, realtor.com, those are free tools. Like, yeah, those like, are free. like the, right. there's the, no CRM involved. Um, there, there's no cost involved and we're not going, we're not talking about being cheap, but we're also talking, you know, like sometimes people just have, you know, like, like they don't have, you know, much in their budget. And, and what you're saying is, is that you can get out there for like nothing and get into this business, right? Well, 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 you know, Tim, you know, like like you say, you know, uh, you and I, we started years ago. And uh, I think that when we started, uh, there were people out here doing the uh, the meat on the stick, what I call it, uh, seminars, where they, uh, you know, have something maybe even on TV that will invite you out to a big seminar for free. Right. And then they would do the bait and switch at the end to get you to buy the program. And uh, so we were familiar with places like Barnes and Noble. Yeah. Um, you know, we would buy audio books, or sometimes we, you know, would invest into somebody's program. And all those things you write cost money, and we're talking about to the tune of three thousand, five thousand dollars. You know, for stuff. You know, whereas yeah, like today's in today's technology, you know, um, like you say, me personally, I don't have a CRM. I don't know any. Didn't even know what a CRM was. Don't know <laughs> nothing about, uh, you know, still don't know nothing about this, uh, what did you call it, the call rail and and the <laughs> other thing. Uh, what, what's the name of the other one? Uh, uh, Mojo and all this other kind of stuff. I don't know nothing about oh, yeah. that. I just oh, use yeah. my phone. I got one phone number that I've always had. Uh, you know, it's, you know I, I hate to say it, but my phone is both, business and personal so you know, <laughs> but uh but one thing i do like about technology again is that yeah. these days you know even on my phone when i see people calling me uh a, a lot of times i see the scam call i don't even answer it you know yeah. or um you know and, and and even when it comes down to answering your phone let me just put it like this sometimes uh you'll get okay. people when, when you're in the business and they can have access to you, will call you and ask you about selling them the, you, one of your properties. That's <laughs> when I flip the script and be like, listen, you can't buy mine, but I could definitely buy yours. So why don't you start sending me your deals? You know, so that, that, that seems to help as well. So uh, whether or not you have a property or not, if you're on somebody's list or what have you, just make sure that you're a good negotiator and a good talker uh, to be able to get get yourself into another deal. Wow. So, guys, what he's talking about is driving for dollars. 
That's what OT is talking. I mean, he, he's talking about driving for dollars. And, um, you know, I, I remember you were telling me one day that, that you said, the only thing I really do is I make sure I, I fill up my tank every morning. <laughs> oh, yeah, most definitely. You said, I fill up my tank every morning and I pinpoint an area and I stay in that area all day. Uh, and if I like what I see, I'll go back over there again the next day. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I'm not, uh, I'm, not, I'm not on a list or anything that I'm aware of, um, <laughs> you know, so I, I, and, you know, no offense to anybody, um, I, I, I have bought a list from my friend Deanna before, um, but typically what I do is, is uh, I just, you know, fill up my tank and, and ride. I like to ride. I like to see was in the street, first of all, because I like to become familiar with what's all going on. Mm -hmm. I know we had the end of the call, man, and I know we're you know, we going to wrap it up. But one thing I just want to mention real quick before you get out the line um, that I think highlights you know, what me and Tim pretty much talks about is um, relationships, um, everything. Uh, and I know, you know me knowing you, I know a lot of your deals from when I've talked to you previously and, you know, lately um not all of them but a lot of your deals have come from just relationships that you have with other people you know uh, whether you jv in with somebody or somebody trusting to know you get the job done because not only are you a wholesaler you're a buyer you know what i'm saying and, and you know and we all have got that reputation to where um people know we wholesale you know they know we're great wholesalers but they also know that we buy you know we all own real estate we all buy properties we all got access to funds to buy properties um, so that's, that, that to me, I think when people trust you and they know that, uh, it makes them feel more comfortable with doing business with you. And I know a lot of people know, you know, you about your business. So how has that, you know, building relationships because that's, you know, the purpose of this wholesale of us is just for us to build relationships with our community. So we can do, so we can do more business with the community. You know, that's what it's all about. Keep the money in the community, um, uh, keep it, keep it flowing. And uh, I know that's how you made your mark is you've been partnering with a lot of different people and, um, you know, it's helped you along the way. So what's, you know, before we end it, what's the importance of building relationships and, you know, partnerships and stuff while you're in the business? Well, I, I think that um, for, for new people, I think this is, this is one of the keys uh, to success uh, is being able to do what you say and say what you do. Um, and that comes with having somebody strong like you and uh, Tim behind you, uh, having, you know, good money behind you, because, you know, it may become a situation to whereby, like I'm dealing with a, a situation right now, uh, whereby um, this particular person is representing somebody else uh, on a deal that I'm buying. And because of the fact that, I, I, I think they don't really know me that well. Uh, but, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, you can get other people to kind of vouch for you. Like I told him, I said, well, call my attorney. He, he could tell you I close deals. You know what I mean? So, uh, and, and I don't, I, I'm not one to back away from something when I, I think it's a deal. So, therefore, you know, you, you got to be able to do what you say you're going to do. And I, I like to hold people's feet to the fire when that when I'm engaged in a deal because you know hey to be honest with you you know well I, I run titles I, I I pull you know I put up earnest money and stuff like that so you know you can't just back out of a deal you know what I mean uh you know when things you know are not going exactly as according to plan but the thing is it may not be on me well for new people I would say that having somebody like a Will and a Tim in their corner uh, will be able to examine everything, every aspect that's, that's going on so that, you know, that deal could successfully make it to the closing table, you know, because that's, that's what's key in this business. A lot of people will call and want to try and put a contract on something and this, that, and the other, but can they get to the closing table? That is what's key. Uh, another good friend of mine, uh, I just seen a post that he did and he said something. Let me see. How did it go? Oh, I remember. He said, uh, they said it was too high, 
but hey, I got to close or something like that. And, <laughs> and you know, and I was like, whoa, that, now that's what I'm talking about. They say it, you know what I mean? Because, you know, they said, but that dude, they yeah, hey, I mean, you know who I got that from? Though? You know who I got that from? I actually got it from you. <laughs> I actually got uh-huh. it from you because I actually got it from you because I, I remember in the past when you used to say people say your deals be too high, but for whatever reason you still find a buyer for those deals. So a lot <laughs> of times, you know, people will try to talk you out of you know what you. And I'm not saying sometimes you know deals might be not might not be a little yeah. more, but I mean for what it's worth, you know, can't nobody tell you, you know, what when you what, know you, about when you your know deal. You know what I'm saying? Like you're an expert, so well, you, you know what you can get for your deal. Right. When you know your market, ain't nothing wrong with dealing with somebody and, 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 you know, trying to give them a discount or trying to make them feel more comfortable about buying your deal. But now when they just come ridiculous and everything, then you just stand your ground when you know the value. You know what I mean? And, and for me, I stand my ground because I'm always ready, willing and able to close. You know, so if I'm ready, willing, and able to close, even if somebody don't want to buy it from me, and and a lot of times I don't even I don't even like to fool with people who got to deal with with the hard money uh, while I'm under contract. Me personally, because I like to know that I done secured the bag. You know what I mean? So I just go ahead and close it on out. You know what I mean? And then if they want to come with hard money, that's fine. But when it comes down to when when speed is what you need. <laughs> then uh, you know, one I tell my cash call. buyers, "Hey, look, I, I I screen people very quickly. I say, okay, oh, okay, so uh, so you a cash buyer? Yeah, I'm a cash buyer. Really? Okay, so um, so uh, how you go about your financing? Oh, I use hard money. Well, you ain't cash. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know? Or I say, well, you know, how long does it take you to close? Well, I can get it done in three weeks. Well, you ain't cash. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you know." <laughs> Come on, man. Let's keep it 100. Well, so, uh, well, is this um, the, I mean, these are some of the things that you that you that you know. You know, like when you are in this business, these are some of the things that you yeah, know. You got to keep stuff it 100, you man. You know, <laughs> I, I mean, it's experience to kind of know these things because you can believe you, somebody can make you believe whatever they tell you. Tell you. Right. Yeah. And so, right, you know, right, like, right. You no, know, but it goes back to what you said earlier. That's why you have to partner with the experts and the yeah. people who do this business. That's so, right. Because anybody can get one foot in, but how many people can get it closed out? You know what I'm saying? How That's many right. people can get to the finish line? That's right. That's you know, where you so, want to be. You want to be yeah, at the you close the the line, You ain't going to make, you ain't getting paid. You know, so you, that's really what it's all about. You know, you want to get that comma check. You know, the one with them commas in it. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Rob, Rob, Robin well, says cash is right now action. Huh? <laughs> Robin says cash is right now action. Um, cash is always. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cash is always, king. Yeah. Cause I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, cash. You know, listen. I didn't even have people send me fake bank statements. You know what I mean? <laughs> and 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 That's the thing is, is <laughs> you know, you, you're sitting there looking at them. You're like, why, why you, why you flexing and everything? If you really want to know this business, call Will and Tim. Okay, stop, stop playing. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know. Hey. But, okay. Now, okay. Well, real quick, man, I want to read out some of these comments. Deontay say you like the Tim Duncan Hall of Fame. <laughs> Deontay, <laughs> Deontay Scott, he said you like Tim <laughs> Duncan Hall of Fame. That means that means you fundamental is what that oh, means. Oh wow, that was good. Uh, okay, because y'all know I know nothing about no sports either now. <laughs> yeah, that means you the big fundamental is what that means. Fundamental man, Kendall, that's one of the greatest power forwards of all time. All time, <laughs> Kendall, Kendall, uh, Kendall, uh, you know Kendall. Kendall say, uh, Mr. Short sale say, I see you, boy. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kendall, tell him I gotta get out to the, tell him I gotta get out there to Beverly Hills now. You know where he at. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and uh, Deanna say happy Monday. Uh, Deanna say happy Monday. Thanks for the shout. And, uh, and you know everybody's just saying, but, but yeah, Robin's right. Cash is right now. Actually, that, I mean that's just the bottom line right there. And, that's uh, that, for, that's uh, it, Robin. That's it. But and. and and yes, Deanna, yes, uh, uh, I, I do appreciate Deanna because, you know, Deanna has helped so many people. Uh, yeah. She's helped me as well, you know, and uh, I, I'm definitely looking forward to getting with she her. Gets and, the and, column. She gets us into the wing column a lot, so we're yeah, grateful for that. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I mean, y'all, yeah, shout out to Deanna. Um, you know, she got the best list out the there man. from probates to evictions, tax list. 
uh, lawclerkondemand.com, lawclerkondemand.com. Just tell her Will and Tim sent you. She'll take care of you. Actually, the deal we closed last week came from her list, so um, I, so it was a probate. So you send me that list. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> nah, I can't do that now. Hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on, man. But yeah, um, <laughs> but, that's, but that's that's it, man. We don't want to take up too much time. Uh, man, we appreciate you jumping on with us real quick. We know, um, you know, I whenever appreciate you talk, you having man, me, man. People can relate yes. to you, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you real, you, you, you the realest OG we know. You know what I'm saying? So people relate to that, yeah. that realness, man. And we appreciate you blessing us with your presence. Um, I know I you know, God is working in your life, me. man. And like Tim said, I, I value your friendship, man. And I'm glad, to, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to call you my brother, man, my big brother. So um, thank you, man, for that, man. And we appreciate you. And guys, we're going to let you guys go. I know we went about 10 minutes over. We normally end at 9. Um, but what I will say is, whatever you heard tonight, um, make sure you guys implement some of the things that we talked about. Take one thing that you heard tonight and implement it. You know, I think the mo I think if you don't take anything away, I think the consistency part is the part that, you know, everybody needs to, anybody can relate to consistency. Just find that one thing that you think that's going to get you to the next level and be consistent at it. Go hard at it. You know, set yourself uh, 60, 90 day um, goal to say I'm going to stay consistent at this one thing until I reach um, where I'm trying to go. So, uh, again, if you want to reach me and Tim, you know, we at reihosellersrus at gmail.com. That's reihosellersrus at gmail.com. Uh, if you're interested in, you know, joining our team and being a part of our calling system, our cold, cold calling system that we have going on right now, uh, send us an email and let us know why, you know, why you're interested and why should we even consider, you know, working with you. Um, and we'll, you know, see if it's a fit or not, you know. So thank you guys. Uh, anything else, Tim, before we go? Oh, man. We love y'all. We'll see you guys next Monday, 8 o'clock, same time. OG, we'll see you, man. Appreciate you, brother. Hey, hey no, I appreciate y'all, man. One love. Y'all be blessed out there. We'll talk to y'all next week. Peace. All right. Peace.